Good afternoon. The weather was great here in the metro area over the weekend. But just a short distance away in the Sandias, things were not so pleasant for a number of hikers. News 13 Scott Daniels joins us live with details. Scott? Yeah, a group of five teenage boys got lost while hiking up in the foothills last night near Tramway and Candelaria. One of them, a 14-year-old boy, broke his leg and had to be rescued by a National Guard helicopter. A search and rescue team helped the other four teens get down the mountain by 1.30 this morning. Earlier in the day, two women who were hiking off the Ellis Trail near the Sandia Crest got stuck in the snow. They were rescued by search and rescue teams on the ground. That same Black Hawk helicopter that saved the boy in the foothills later flew to Grants to save a 23-year-old man who broke his leg while hiking. He was suffering from hypothermia and had to be taken to the UNM hospital. It's, it's amazing the, the number of cases that, that we actually uh, staff throughout the year for search and rescues because of, the, uh, of, of people's willingness to go out and enjoy the outdoors and just sometimes uh, you know, bad things happen to good people. Lieutenant Colonel Herrera of the National Guard wants hikers to know what the weather conditions are like for where you're going because it's not going to be the same from where you started. Back to you. Good point. All right. Thank you, Scott. Now, there are also several items that outdoor experts recommend you take along with you on the hikes, including food, water, a map of the area, as well as a compass or GPS.